opinions, guys. I made a pinata. I made a pinata. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are stuck at home in this, you know, situation. So my daughter's birthday party is not exactly ideal this year. We are going to be at home on Zoom. It's a whole thing. So I wanted to try to make her party extra special. So I want to do a pinata. So then I'm like, well, oh, I'm sure I can make a pinata. This is a cereal box. You guys, I saw some things on Pinterest, so I try to do my own thing. I try to make it super simple. I promise you, this is super simple. You can totally do it. I did not try to shape this into anything because I figured it might be a little too complicated for me to do, and I didn't want to like take the extra time. So this is what I came up with. It's super simple. You need crepe paper or tissue paper, and if you don't have anything like that at home, you could probably just use like toilet paper. No, I'm joking. I mean, you could. Uh, construction paper would probably work. And then you cut it, I'll show you guys. I just taped the whole process and it totally worked. And then I just printed this out and put it on the front. So here are all the clips of me with trial and error trying to make this work and it totally worked. At least I hope so. We're about to see if it works. I'm gonna insert the clips uh, after this of them trying to hit it. I hope they can break it open, fingers crossed. Anyway, yeah. Go. All right, we have started to try to make a pinata for the first time. It's supposed to be super simple, says Pinterest. I'm gonna walk you guys through this with me and if it fails, it fails and if it's great, awesome. I'm sorry that I look like crap. I've been trying to work on this party because you know we can't go anywhere, do anything. It's gonna be an online party, but I'm trying to make it better for my daughter. So I'm trying to make a pinata, fingers crossed. Let's see how this goes. Let's do it. I look splendid today. Um, all right, so of course you need the box and you need some crepe paper and scissors. I'll insert what you need right here. Um, the first thing you have to do is cut little slots into the crepe paper because that's what you're gonna wrap around. So I've been doing that for like a million years. I'm just playing toys. You just wanna create half, like halfway up slits. That's all you wanna do. Cut it halfway up, pull the entire way. It's gonna wrap around the box. All right, I've done quite a lot of this. I don't know if it's enough yet or not, we'll see. You could do it in different colors, of course, but mine's gonna be a unicorn, so I'm gonna make it all pink in the background. Before that gets glued on, you have to glue on one layer of just the regular crepe paper in case the box shows through any of these little slots. So I'm just gonna wrap this around and glue it first, and then I'll try to glue this on, fingers crossed. I just realized, I know my kids are noisy, guys, I just realized that the bottom probably isn't gonna have any fringes on it and it might be seen. So I think I'm gonna do like two layers just flat on here. All right guys, um, I know this might be odd. I have younger children, so I cut X's in these. I'm just gonna glue everything on top. I'm hoping this kind of makes the box a little bit weaker. It might be easier for them to like blow a hole to it because we're gonna actually be beating it with a stick. Don't know if this is gonna help or make it worse. I don't know, this is my theory. Let's at least try it. One. All right, so this is all done. Now I'm gonna try to wrap this like a mummy because I'm afraid if I come together in the back with this, then it's gonna create, you know, like a seam in the back. I don't know if it even matters, but whatever. I'm gonna try to hang this down a little bit below the box here to cover up any of this. I did not put the glue all the way up because I didn't want to fill the box yet. So I'll figure out a way whenever I get to the top to kind of fill the box. All right, so I think I'm just gonna like lay a line of glue and then just like continue to wrap. I hope there's supposed to be a small trick whenever you get up a little bit further. No, up a little bit further than that. I know that, can you guys, can you hear our four year old? She's almost five. Um, the trick is whenever you're overlapping that you can't glue this part down, only the top part. And then the next section when it comes around, you wanna lay the fringe over this. So you go around, let's see if this works or if I totally mess this up. Oh crap. I'm already like 
picking up the cray paper with it. You guys are supposed to be able to do this with like tissue paper too. And I bet you can do this with construction paper if you have nothing else at home. Right? I mean, I'm running out of glue. But we'll see how this goes. All right, guys. So now I'm going to kind of make it go up just a little bit on this side. We'll see if it works or not. If not, I honestly might just do the same in the back. Make it just slightly go up a little bit. And then here, is that too much of an overlap or should I keep it? I think that's good because then it kind of covers up more of what's below it. So maybe if I keep wrapping. All right. I'll tune back. Wish me luck. Well. Update. I think it's coming along. Ignore the front. See the bottom? It kind of, it looks like it's coming along. This might look really cute with two separate colors. I thought about adding in the blue, but my daughter seems to only want pink. So we're just gonna do pink. Um, so far, so good. What I've noticed, I'm, I'm just barely going uphill, like just barely enough to kind of have, you know, like keep going up like a mummy wrap, but it doesn't really look crooked. And you basically, can you come in on this a little bit? You basically just want to cover up what you, the line that you did before. So go just up above it, add a little bit of the stick glue. I just started using stick glue. You can probably use hot glue, but this is working well. And then you just lay it like right over. I just got glue all over myself. I don't know if y'all saw that on camera. Anyway, it like stuck to my arm. And then lay it down, push it on, and then you're like creating layers. When it gets up here, I think I'm going to stop to like cover the top after I covered in and like they have tutorials guys for like how to like make these things shaped like stuff and I don't have the time or energy to make this box shaped like something and then intricately mm -hmm, teach English can you believe it anyway cover it in this crap so I'm just gonna like print off a picture of a unicorn like all colorful and cut it out and like glue it on the front and hope that she thinks it's like super cool because I hope that's gonna be simple this video is probably like already longer than it needs to be. All right, I'm gonna keep wrapping this and then I'm gonna check back in. All right, y'all, it's finally coming together. Almost done, I gotta cut more. This is so time consuming, guys, so time consuming. But so far, I've, I'm only, I think I'm gonna get away with only using one roll of cray paper and an empty box. So money-wise, totally worth it, I hope, as long as this works out correctly. All right, guys, I am at the top. Um, now we're going to fill it. I used so much glue, like a whole one of these little glue sticks, and I started using a big one. Okay, hold on, buddy. I think it's kind of rainy, bud. Can I, we'll check. Can I fill this out? Yep, now we're going to fill it full, and then we're going to try to cover the top, and then I'm going to try to print out an image for the front. Let's see if it works. Now I'm trying to figure out how to add the string because... I don't know if this is strong enough, if I just like put two holes in this before I glue it shut. In hindsight, before I did this, I should have like wrapped the string from the bottom up and then covered it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to poke two holes, one here and one here, and string it up through. I mean, it's not gonna be hanging up for more than like two minutes anyway, so hopefully that does okay. All right, yes, my husband is glorious. He's filling the dishwasher with the sound. Anyway. We've poked two holes on this side and then a hole on this side because I figured if I put holes just on one side, it may like come apart. So I'm gonna tighten this and then tie these and then glue this together and then see if that helps. I just need this to be able to hang for like a couple minutes. I'm not gonna hang it the whole day. I've got my candy inside. It's, it's pretty heavy for what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna tie this together, glue this down, see what it looks like. All right, it's kind of staying, but I don't think the glues, like this glue stick is going to work. I may need to put a couple drops of hot glue and then continue to cover it up. All right, guys, I covered the top. I made a little slit for where the whole, like the, the knot came through and then just try to cover it. I'm going to make one more row across the top and hope that it looks well. I'm so excited. I think it's turning out really well. Hopefully I don't mess it up right now because that would be horrible. Yo. So instead of trying to make this like a, some fancy shape because I'm running out of time, I printed this out, put a name on it, and I'm just going to use a glue stick to kind of glue it on top. And I hope that that suffices for her. I think it's kind of the easiest way to do this at this point. So I don't run out of time for making 
everything else. I'm not 100% it's gonna stick really well with this, but we shall see. Let's at least give it a try. Okay, start. I'm trying to push really hard on the edges to make sure it stays down. I'm not 100% sure the glue stick's gonna work, but we'll see. I'm just gonna kind of rub it in a little bit and then let it dry and see how it goes. Okay. You guys, I think this is gonna work. It's not the fanciest thing, but I think it's gonna work. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>